what's up you guys welcome to another episode of the ass alex show but for today i have a very special guest here with me um man this guy has been a part of my childhood and my young adulthood for a while you've heard him voice the role of ben tennyson 10 you've heard him voice the role of sasuke Uchiha, one of my favorite anime characters and arguably the best spider-man game in the world peter parker himself i have yuri Lur- L- laurenthal with us today here on the ass alex show mr yuri how are you doing today i'm i'm doing all right thanks for uh thanks for that introduction there alex oh uh, anytime man uh you know it's it's this is like uh kind of surreal for me because the trailer for the new game which well we won't dive too much into the trailer no, I'm not the allowed new, to <laughs> <laughs> right uh the the new game just dropped uh literally like a couple of days ago mm-hmm. and i think correct me if i'm wrong is this your first interview since the de- debut of what was announced i think it is oh, well wow. done alex <laughs> <laughs> what is what a scoop man i know right because like i wish i wish i was allowed to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> i know i know and um we want a, and again for uh legal purposes we will definitely not talk <laughs> right. about those things i did have one particular question but we'll get into that later but yuri i wanted to ask you um how did you get started in all of this like what made you say I'm in LA and I'm going to voice some of the most iconic roles that have basically shaped people's childhoods. Well, well, I I certainly didn't know that that was going to happen. You know, I I came to Los Angeles to do TV and film and I was looking for other ways to make money as an actor. Mm -hmm. And so I got into a a voice acting class because I didn't know anything about uh, voiceover at the time. I knew theater. Mm -hmm. I knew, you know, some TV and film stuff. But mm-hmm. that was it. And so I took a class, I put together a demo, started sending it out. Uh, and it turns out that the, the teacher of the voiceover class mm-hmm. got hired to uh, direct an anime dub mm-hmm. and started auditioning some of his students. And so I auditioned and got into, you know, I'm going to that show. And that was sort of my, my entry point into dubbing anime, into that community. And, and the, you know, the voiceover world at large and, Mm -hmm. and it just, it just grew. I, you know, I don't know. I maybe, maybe I attract those roles because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a nerd from, you know, from like childhood, you know, I grew up reading comics and watching cartoons and Mm -hmm. anime and watching movies. And so maybe, I don't know if I attract those, those roles or what, but I I do Mm -hmm. consider myself very fortunate to have gotten to, to play a lot of roles that, you know, that, that mean a lot to me. And as it turns out, a lot of people. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask, uh, you know, one of my favorite Cartoon Network shows was uh, Ben 10. Um, and you got to voice the main character, Ben Tennyson. Um, what was it like uh, working with, because uh, I believe that's a Warner Brothers property. Uh, mm-hmm. What was it like just the start of the show? I, I'm not sure when I was reading, doing my research. I don't know if you were you started when it initially started or you came on when it became a little bit more popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, start at the very beginning when when the show first started. Tara Strong was playing uh, Ben Tennyson, and oh, it was yeah. a it was a younger version of of, of Ben Tennyson. Mm-hmm. And then when they decided after a few seasons to age up the character and change the show a little bit, mm-hmm. uh, take it into a little bit more of a serious direction, I would say, mm-hmm. uh, they they recast. And uh, not not because Tara isn't brilliant, because we all know she is. Oh yeah, um, but you know they were looking for a different angle, and and Ben was older, and um, so that's when I started. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I honestly, I, you know, I was working at uh, Cartoon Network. I would go into work at Cartoon Network. Mm-hmm. I, you know, at the time, I don't even know that I really knew that it was you know Warner Brothers and <laughs> Turner, and you know all those families were sort of one family. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but it was a family, like uh, recording on those on that show, and the people that I got to work with did turn into a big kind of emotional family. And I, I still miss that family, you know, not, not doing the show anymore. Mm. Although I am, I'm still involved or have been involved in the most recent incarnation incarnation of the show. Mm. I actually got to come back and play Vilgax sort of like the big yeah. bad, which was, it was cool to go from uh, Ben to, you know, to a villain later on down the line, but um, you know, and, and we, we create a different family, but I'm, I'm not, as in the show as I was when I was playing Ben and uh, and I missed that family. It was it was good times. Awesome, awesome. And I I you know I I love that show growing up, especially the older 
Ben, because the younger Ben, I mean, I I kind of aged with him, but mm-hmm. as he got older, he was a little bit more mature, more sure of himself, mm-hmm. and yeah. the way you fit that role, it just, I don't know, like uh, I I did a little like a little uh, tribute to that to that show, and I I love that nice. show. But another favorite show of mine that you've done uh, was uh, Naruto. Uh, you were yep. Sasuke Uchiha, and you know yep. Sasuke has always been on that borderline of good and evil. Um, he was good yeah. at first and then he became evil. And I wanted to ask you, was there any point, because I know Naruto has hundreds of episodes, but was there yeah. any point where you were like, is Sasuke, my character, ever going to marry Sakura? Because <laughs> she kept throwing herself at you. And so right, <laughs> right. And, he, and, 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 and Sasuke is so consumed with revenge. He didn't have any time for personal relationships. So, yeah. so no, I, I never thought he was going to not, not just not get together with her, but like get together with anybody. <laughs> I just thought he didn't, I, I thought he didn't have it in him. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but, you know, but, uh, it, and that's the exciting thing about then going to Boruto, you know, which is the, yeah. you know, the, the, the follow up. there's, there's a time jump and now he's a dad, like he did yeah. marry Sakura and he's a dad. So it was an interesting turn for him. You know, I, I actually, at first I was a little dubious uh, mm-hmm. when they told me about it, but, but I, I really liked the way it turned because it really, it forced him to change as a character. You know, we saw where he started, you mm-hmm. know, the, the journey, the, the amazing journey he went through, what he had become. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, to become something entirely different mm-hmm. uh, in the future was, was really cool. Because after, after 740 episodes <laughs> of that guy, <laughs> yeah. um, it was nice to take him in a new direction. You know, I, I wanted to ask because you know, you, again, you mentioned seven hundred and forty episodes. I mean, Naruto. Like it took me about like, I want to say ten years to really like finish it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask, don't you find it ironic that Sasuke was at the end of his journey? Like the the Hidden Leaf Village didn't convict him, even though he did all that murder, all that destruction, yeah. and he's just free to go. <laughs> like that's, it was just that's weird. True. <laughs> that's true maybe, maybe he's really lucky maybe they they realized that you know in the end he did a lot to to help as well yeah and and, and it might have ended up you know even even worse if they hadn't taken that journey with him and you know he hadn't gone through all that stuff although mm-hmm. yeah when you're going through the series you're like this is you know a bad dude like you know, uh, there's there's no coming back from from you know what he's doing and what he's done but mm-hmm. but there is I mean that's that's also encapsulates the relationship between him and Naruto yeah, uh, you know, which I think is so powerful is that Naruto never gives up on him, and yeah. Sasuke literally tries to kill him over and over and over again. And he's mm-hmm. like, "Nope, you're my friend. You can do all this, but I'm not going to give up on you." And I, I, that's what I find, you know, the like that's like the best thing about that relationship. Yeah, that that was one of the most powerful things. Is uh, like, uh, blood is not thicker than water. And that's what I got from that because he didn't give up on him, even though Sasuke essentially murdered almost everybody in a sense, you know, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it was, it was so weird, but you know, I wanted to go into uh, PS4 Spider-Man um, initially when you got the role as, as our Peter Parker, I want to say I played the story mode like at least five times on all different iterations. Same thing with Miles Morales. There he is back there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dope, dope uh, <laughs> hot toy. It looks really dope. Yeah, oh, thank you. I, I wanted to ask, man, um, because you know, the character you play opposite, I mean, the character that's essentially like your uh your 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 uh I guess sidekick in a sense is Yuri Watanabe. Your real yeah. name is Yuri. So those I know. <laughs> those dynamic scenes where you're like Yuri, like, was it odd saying your name a lot? During it was, those times? you know what? It was, <laughs> and it and it and it never got less weird. And sometimes, you know, it we would it would get confusing in the booth when we were recording mm-hmm. because the director would refer to Yuri, and I wasn't sure if they in the moment if they were referring to me or the character. <laughs> and then there's a whole other layer of weird because that character Yuri Watanabe is played by my real life wife Tara Platt. Oh, so, wow. yeah. that's crazy! So, so it's yelling my name. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it was my wife. So, so that's it's just just never stops getting weird. I mean, I'm glad you said that because if you if you play the game, it feels like a movie when you're playing it. But when you play the game, the chemistry right off the back is already established. And yeah. we have no back history, like at all. Right. Well, we kind of right. do, but not Look, really. Yeah. And you guys play upon each other so much, especially even the extra downloadable content where Yuri goes her her other direction. Yeah. yeah. Um I wanted to ask when you when you were when you came back for uh, Miles Morales, and I know that 
your part was very limited in that. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have to shoot that during COVID or was that already done by the time the first game came out? We shot all the, I don't know, because, you know, like, like you said, my, my part was smaller than that. So I don't know how much of that they still had to do in COVID. I know we recorded some of it, Mm -hmm. some of the, 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 the voiceover uh, Mm -hmm. during COVID, but we, but I had completed all the motion capture that I was doing Mm -hmm. before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah. And I mean, you know, that's, that's Miles's game. I, you know, I think it was important that, that Peter take a backseat in that game because we wanted to see, you know, Miles Mm -hmm. get to it, you know? So, so, so that was, that was, that was super fun. Um, And I, I I loved working on that too. And I really love seeing the way that it, uh, that it turned out. Oh yeah. It's my, my favorite part of the whole game is actually the, the ending scene where like Miles is done with the game and you're there, like basically saying, you know, I'm proud of you. You, You're being you in that moment. It's like that big brother, little brother moment captured and just some of those elements. I kind of wish we got kind of more out of that, which kind of we're, I'm assuming we're definitely going to see in future iterations, but I did want to ask you before we get to uh, what just dropped, but um, I want to ask you two questions. Uh, One, Are you by any chance in Spider-Man No Way Home? <laughs> no, I can. I can. Unfortunately, I can confirm that, uh, you know, un- unless they've got uh, unless they've got something planned, nobody's reached out to me about it. Uh, I, you know, I think they've probably got their hands full with, you know, so many, you know, juggling so many multiverses uh, in one movie. But but I you know, the, the trailer's amazing and and I can't wait to see it. Awesome. Awesome. So I, I, I cause you know, they're going so wacky in that movie. I oh yeah. See yeah. If, I mean, cause there it's rumor, not confirmed that other right. Spider-Man would be there. So I wanted to ask right. Spider-Man himself, but also, um, but I didn't want to ask you, cause I know that we spoke off camera. Um, yep. uh, I, I, I cannot for my fans who are watching, I cannot ask any very direct questions about Spider-Man too, even though we got that sure. amazing trailer so and good. I, I'm not going to lie, Yuri, when I saw it, I was in tears. My wife can tell you, I was jumping up and down. It worked. And, <laughs> and now I can finally get a PlayStation 5 because it's been really hard to get a PlayStation yeah. 5. Well, you've still got time. You've still got time. <laughs> we still got time. And it seems <laughs> yeah. like you're already, uh, you know, you guys are obviously preparing and getting that stuff ready. Um, mm-hmm. Have you had to do motion capture and voiceover? Well, I mean, I know it's still COVID, but mm-hmm. have you yeah. done any motion capture since the trailer? Or are all, you guys all, still developing it? Uh, all I can say is that I'm working on it. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, and 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 besides that, my my only other my my only two words are Tony Todd. Oh, oh my God. God! Oh my yes, that oh my who, God. I, who I who I who I just worked with on another show, and I'm I just consider myself blessed we get to do it again because he is the best. Uh, it seems like. Hmm, it seems like Peter and Miles have got, it looks like a ch- time jump has happened. I, again, I can't ask Yuri any particulars about the game, but right. I did want to tell you, the game looks amazing. It looks like you guys are stepping up and really expanding your universe. Um, and I know there's only so much you cannot say, so I won't ask you any direct <laughs> right. questions. <but laughs> right. I do appreciate you being on the show. Um, the one, the, the one question I did want to ask you about it: Did you have fun while? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, be, being playing Spider-Man is the it's like a dream come true, you know, yeah. for me. And it is, it is truly one of the greatest things and one of the greatest honors I'll probably ever ever have. Um, mm-hmm. So, so I, I just, yeah, it is the most fun. Like get getting up, you know, and having to go to work. Mm-hmm. But like work is like get to go to be Spider Man is like the <laughs> like I could you know I could never at the height of anything could I have ever dreamed that I would get to do this so yeah so I'm I'm super happy I do want to mention though mm-hmm. that uh, that I worked on another show mm-hmm. called Orbital Redux yes. which is a sci fi show mm-hmm. that just uh, w- when we performed it it was a weekly sci fi drama. Um, I like action drama and we performed it live every week and everything was streamed live. All the special effects were live. Mm-hmm. All the edits you're seeing happening, all one take, all, you know, all the music that was for it mm-hmm. was being performed live by band on the stage while we were doing it. Oh, wow. And uh, when we did it, not a lot of people got to see it. 
And luckily we were, you know, we were, we were rolling on all the cameras that we were using to shoot it. Mm -hmm. And we cut together over the last year, we cut together the best, you know, versions of each episode and it's mm -hmm. now available to watch on dust. So if I could ask oh. any, any fair, so yeah, dust for, for most people who don't know what dust is mm -hmm. um, it's like a, a sci-fi it's like sort of like your internet sci-fi channel. Mm -hmm. It's like Shudder, like what horror is to Shudder, yeah. sci-fi is to Dust. Mm -hmm. And they've got a YouTube channel. They've there, there might even be an app, a Dust app on your smart TV. You can download the app, mm -hmm. or you can just go to watchdust.tv mm -hmm. and look for Orbital Redux. If I could ask one favor of anybody watching your show, mm -hmm. it's go check out Orbital Redux. I'm so, I'm so proud of it. Um, it's it's a great great show. Eight episodes of if you dig sci-fi. There's no reason not to watch it. Oh, so. yeah. And <clears throat> I'm I'm definitely going to check it out. I, I, I awesome. did not know. I heard about it. But I never... It was it was one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, because I, I, you know, not a lot of people know about it, but I want them to know about it because it's awesome. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'm a fan of Dust. Uh, so I I, I, know, I, oh, I right. knew I can't wait to, to check that out. But I did want to ask you, though, one yeah. more question before I let you go. You are also yeah. in uh, the new He-Man, uh, the Netflix uh, He-Man. Yeah. Um, how was it? What was it like? Uh, I guess bringing that character to life. I was never really a huge He-Man fan until yeah. I saw that Netflix trailer, and then I started watching. It. I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Wow, it was, yeah. it was pretty cool." Well, it's a you know, it is a it is a reboot. You know, Netflix had sort of a, a version that was very much closer to sort of the original He-Man that a lot of people knew a few months ago that Kevin mm -hmm. Smith directed, mm -hmm. and then this new one is a reboot. Uh, you know, for for the kids of today who might want to get involved and. Don't want to, you know, backtrack and and you know dig to find the. I mean, this is a new. It's you know a lot of the same characters, a lot of the same themes. You know, there are a lot of Easter eggs in there for people who grew up with the original show, but it is very different. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, and I think some people are going to hate it for that reason. They'll be like, it's not the He Man that I grew up with, but it is glorious and it is beautiful and the 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 performance like that the cast is so good. Alex, the cast is so good mm -hmm. and um the. the like everything like i just i i've been watching uh, screeners for it because it comes out in just a just a few days i think yeah uh, yeah um and i just i just encourage you to watch it and anybody with kids just just turn them on to it. it's great um yeah. so i just yeah i'm just i'm just i'm super excited for people to finally get to see it in a few days yeah because it looks it looks good uh i i went to this i'm, I'm in orlando florida we had this uh, uh thing called megacon yeah yeah just us. a couple weeks ago right yeah, 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 yeah. They they showed us exclusively the first uh ten minutes of it, awesome. and it was amazing. I was just right? like, the animation is dope. It's like it's so good. It's mm -hmm. so good. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys who are watching are looking forward to it. Yuri, I I I I know I had limited time, but I want to appreciate you to be on the show. Well, thank you for reaching uh, I, out. Oh, anytime, man. Um, uh, Tam, I believe Tammy was your agent. Uh, agent. Uh, oh, she's uh, she's my PR person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, think uh, I think she originally. I think she originally passed on your your information. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Tammy. I, I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll tell but I, I, I'm I'm glad that I was able to have you on the show. Where can we find you on social media? And uh, and also, uh, where can we uh, check out your up and coming projects aside from the Spider Man? Well, my uh, my my website is uh, is very outdated, <laughs> but you can <laughs> you can go to yurilowenthal.com. You're you're better off going to at Yuri Lowenthal on Twitter or mm -hmm. at Yuri Lowenthal on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to keep some of that stuff up to date. I try to respond to people's stuff. Can't always get back to you, but I try. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I when I push out. Like if if new stuff is coming down the pike, I will. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll promote it there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And if you go to uh, monkey kingdom productions, that's my wife and I, that's our production company, mm -hmm. monkey kingdom productions.com. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a list of other stuff we've done other stuff we've got coming up. Uh, one of my favorites that, that we, we did together or a couple of them. One is a, a show called shelf life, which mm -hmm. is sort of like live action toy story, but mm -hmm. like for, for adults. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, so it's that. And um, we have almost 50 episodes of that uh, up. And, and our, our movie con artists, you were talking about Megacon, uh, mm -hmm. was a, a mockumentary about voice actors going to conventions. So you, oh, can, wow. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can go and check all that out uh, there. There's, there's, there's plenty of stuff to see. Tara and I, my wife and I, we do a, a travel show. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if, you're, if you're all holed up in, uh, you know, you've been holed up for, for quarantine, uh, we've got a lot of episodes of that show that uh, that we made over you know over the years. So if you feel like traveling a little bit without having to travel, mm -hmm. um, go check that out. Um, there's yeah, there's lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff. 
Awesome. Awesome. Yuri. And I, I know you're extremely busy, man. I want to thank you for the bottom of my heart being on the show. And also I want to thank you for creating content the way that you create it, because the way you do and interpret those roles just makes it more inspiring for us to want to even to engage it or even check out new things or even be a part of the culture. So I do appreciate everything that you have done. I personally think Sp- Spider-Man is the, that game is the best Spider-Man game we've ever had and ever since then it's been going up and up and up and i've been a fan of yours since uh, ben 10 so i'm i'm this is just so re- so surreal for me so i do appreciate awesome. it um you guys can also like comment and subscribe uh go to our multiple social medias this interview will be exclusively on my youtube channel and for my patreon supporters it'll be up before it hits my youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always you guys you have a blessed day <laughs>